So yes, by this time you probably already know that clothing is super expensive. Not only that, building a wardrobe and looking stylish on a consistent basis can drain your pockets a bit. So for a change, I really thought this out and I was trying to think what are four ways to really improve your style? Things that I've done in my life that helped me put together stylish outfits without actually having to spend. Now before I get into those four ways, I do want to give you a good resource. And that is for online shopping, especially when you are on a budget and it's called Shop Tagger. Basically how it works is I've been looking at this leather jacket, which by the way is freaking nice from Zara for the longest, but I've been debating if I want to spend 130 on it. So using Shop Tagger, what I do is I save it and I have them send me a notification when this product is reduced in price. So as soon as that product is reduced in price, I'm going to get an email and Maybe if it's at the right price, I'll end up buying it. And this is a great tool for Black Friday and the Cyber Monday deals that are coming up. That way you can keep track of all the good sales in one place. Most of those products that you really want, you can get them almost sometimes at 50% of discount. On top of that, if there's a specific product that you like, the size is not available, using Shop Tagger again, I can have them notify me when they restock my size and even my color. So this program works with anything from J.Crew to Zara to H&M to ASOS, whatever online website you use to shop, this program works with it and it's completely free. I'm gonna have them linked below, you guys can check them out, but it's a great resource to have to shop when you're on a budget. So now let's get into the four free things you can do to put together more stylish outfits on a consistent basis. The first one is to trash and organize. This means that you're gonna go into your closet, you're gonna basically assess your whole wardrobe and everything that you have in, my usual rule is eight months. So everything that you have not worn in eight months, you're gonna to wanna to put on the trash pile, but you're not gonna actually throw it away. You're gonna put it off to the side. Don't make excuses for it. If you haven't worn it in eight to 10 months, you're over it. So slimming down your wardrobe is gonna have a lot of huge benefits. And let me explain. First of all, you're gonna be able to put together stylish outfits quicker because when you go up to your closet, all you're gonna see is the items that you actually like because they either fit good on you, they make you look great, whatever it may be, that's what you're gonna see first. So you can get ready quicker in the morning and you're saving time. And on top of that, like I said, all you have are the items that look great on you because that's what you're keeping. Which leads me to the next point. It's also a huge benefit because it might put some money in your pocket. You can go to stores like Plato's Closet, Crossroads, I think it's called Buffalo Exchange, or even eBay and sell everything that you don't use. Like they say, somebody's trash could be somebody else's treasure. And if it's enough, you can make anything from 50 to 100 to 200, even up to $1,000 just by selling your clothes, putting the time to sell your clothes, and then you can take that money to reinvest it into your wardrobe and buy newer, more stylish items that you actually like. The second one is to change it up a bit. And I say that because humans, by nature, we're just creatures of comfort and habit and also extremely lazy. A lot of us have probably gone down to a uniform to a point that we wear this all the time. So we wear these pants with this shirt all the time because we already know it looks good. We don't wanna go through the hassle of actually thinking of something else. But that drastically cuts your wardrobe significantly of the possible outfit combinations you could do if you actually put a little bit more effort and just change it up a bit. So instead of grabbing that t-shirt and those jeans that you pair all the time, Grab that t-shirt and pair it with some chinos, for example. Because the biggest misconception that a lot of people have is that you need to have this large wardrobe and spend a lot of money to look great all the time. When in reality, you can have a, something as small as only five shirts, let's say five bottoms and five shoes, and theoretically speaking, that would net you over a hundred possible combinations. That's the power of knowing how to combine your wardrobe and just changing it up a bit. The next one is to start tucking in your shirts. I recently just did a video talking about the benefits of tucking in your shirts. It really helps bringing in that waistline, giving you an awesome V-shape and a more masculine aesthetic body frame. And that's something obviously that we all want. On top of that, it makes you look a little bit more dressier, a little bit more put together. Button downs aren't the only, only type of shirts you can tuck in. You can tuck in polo shirts, you can tuck in t-shirts, you can even tuck in some forms of sweaters. And I'm not saying to do this every single time you wear a shirt, but changing, like again, going back to my second tip, changing it up a bit. So 
you're used to always wearing that shirt untucked, which could look great, change it up a bit and tuck it in. And you're gonna like that, have a completely different, more put together look that in my opinion, just will look more stylish. And finally, you can start rolling up your clothes or adding cuffs to your clothes. And what this means is, for example, a t-shirt. I've always talked about how a t-shirt should fit and how it should hug the bicep area. However, if you have a t-shirt that is a little bit loose on the sleeves and is making your arms look like twigs, roll up the sleeves a bit and notice how the extra bicep exposure automatically makes you look a little bit more stylish. The same goes for pants. Say you have some jeans that are a little bit too long and this, you don't like the stacking on the bottom, it just scrunches up too much. Add a couple more cuffs and automatically you look a little bit more dressier and you have a more tailored appearance by just putting two more seconds of effort and cuffing your jeans. So change it up a bit, roll up your clothing, and in the right situation, it could definitely make you look more stylish. So that's it for me in this week's video. See you next time.